Welcome back everybody to the little reef. Apologies it's been so long, but today's video is going to be using Aptasia X by Red Sea. So um, I mentioned previously that there was a few Aptasia that had got into my tank, unfortunately, uh, I think from my Green Star Polyp, which have since grown and spread. So I've noticed a few more around the tank now and it's got to the point where I need to do something about it. So Aptasia X it is. Today's the day. It's turned up. Um, we're going to do an up close of me using it and then hopefully some after videos of it actually working. We'll get some close ups of them melting and imploding as Red Sea quotes. So this is it. Red Sea's Aptasia X. Right, so there's the tank as it is now. There's been a few changes. Um, the scape has changed. Still not sure if I'm 100 on it, but that's where we're at with it now. Um, fish are back in the tank after their cupramine treatment in quarantine. Dory, my tang, has had uh, potentially a few spots reappear on her, which I'm not overly impressed about because pretty much reverses a large portion of the process. But I think uh, from how they're all behaving, all fish, including the tang, are eating well. Um, as you can see, active, she's not itching or anything. So um, I'm hoping that she'll build up enough of a natural immunity to deal with what's in the tank. Um, but we're going to keep a close eye and see how things go. So as I say, this is the tank from where we're at at the moment. Um, a large portion of the green hair algae had been under control. Um, it's kind of slipping back a little bit at the moment. I have been a tad lazy, I'll be honest, but getting on top of it sounds looking better um okay so aptasia problems where we're at so as you can see on my green star polyp not only is it pretty much dead there's hardly any heads on it anymore um but it is riddled with aptasia absolutely looks disgusting looking things this as well don't know what this is if anyone can tell me these red things not sure what that is. I um, don't know if that's a different type of algae or what, but we've got that as well. So green star polyps looking sorry for itself, covered in Aptasia. Um, what else has happened? So uh, Zoe's down there, all doing good still. Well, there is one Aptasia in this piece. Um, don't know if you can see it. One small one. Uh, uh, here, roughly. So we've got to get rid of that. I uh, have bought a few different plugs of Zoas. They all died. Got one in here. It's not looking too good for itself. Um, they're supposed to be mega rainbows. But again, uh, just tanks a bit sorry for itself at the moment. So they're just sitting there. They're in this little pot because um, the person that I bought them from said that they was in a tank that had near to no flow. Um, and I haven't got a frag rack, so I have had them in multiple different positions and nothing's happened. I've had them hanging on the glass with a magnet and all sorts, and nothing's happened. So we've tried them in a new location, lower down, under the light, uh, and then in the pot for less direct flow. Well, hammer's getting bigger. Torch is doing good. Um, I've actually seen it bigger than this. This is a slightly smaller day, but torch. This is the big problem. So in clove polyp was doing brilliant at probably almost four times the size of when I bought it from the shop. And then that horrible big aptasia you can see there sticking out. That one appeared. Um, and then I think I disturbed it and it decided to spit out some babies. And before I knew it, now my clove polyp is absolutely riddled with them. Uh, and it's much much smaller than it was probably from being stung so this is going to be one of our main targets as well that we're dealing with is the clove polyp um, gonies aren't doing great at the moment since moving around they're a little bit stressed out so receded right back at the minute I'm not concerned about them I think they'll be okay um, I've just got some tank maintenance to deal with to get it all under control again, get things back balanced properly and get the tank back to where it should be. So that's where we're at at the moment. 
we'll get the Aptasia X out of the box now, I'll show you what it comes with um, and where we're going with it and what it will do. There we go, so Red Sea Aptasia X, that's what you get in the box, so get your bag, say 3ml syringe and then you get two different applicators, a straight one and one with a bend in it to make it easier to uh, get to any of them. Some do tend to get into really hard to reach places, um, so it makes getting a bit closer. Then you get your solution itself. So, one thing that I was a little bit anxious of, but Red Sea make a hell of a point about, um, is this being apparently completely reef safe with absolutely zero adverse effects um, and zero changes to your water chemistry. So, I have been against the idea of putting anything in the tank because I wanted to keep it as sort of close to natural and, and clean and so on as possible, but um, I suppose me being lazy got me in this state, so here we are having to use alternative methods to get rid of them. Here we go. So as per the instructions, your 3ml syringe, um, I'm going to give it a go with the straight head on it first. Um, hopefully, I think most of mine I should be able to get to relatively easily. So there's a syringe prepped and ready. Check vigorously. Turn off all flow. Give it a few seconds just for the water to completely settle so the flow is all calmed down. If you're wondering what's going on. So there's one thing I'm doing here which I'll probably advise against quite a bit. Um, I don't know how wrong I could be but um, it does stay apparently I think this is a form of uh, hydrogen chloride I think it is. Um, it does stay on Red Sea's box um, and instructions advised to wear gloves uh, I haven't got any so hey ho Aptasia must die I'm sick of it hopefully it don't burn me update video to come okay so a little go um, it does seem to do what it says with regards to them not retracting um, Sorry, trying to film and get an it or get this syringe close enough is a tad difficult, but like so. Um, and they're not retracting, and it does look like they are potentially melting away. If you can see from that angle, maybe. Okay, there it is, the horrible one. So, hopefully, we will uh, give it a good dousing. If I'm honest, this clove polyp, as I say, is pretty riddled. Um, I'm taking the risk that the clove polyp's going to die, but if I'm honest, at this point, I'd rather it died than the Aptasia went with it. So... £30 coral is not the end of the world in the comparison to the rest of what I've got in this tank and the look of it being ruined because of this disgusting stuff so with a bit of luck in a short amount of time we will be able to watch these all start dying I think to be fair it literally looks like they melt um, from what I can see, the Aptasias are literally just sort of shooting downwards. Some are shooting down and just disappearing. Um, I don't know if you just see that just there, just drop down. Um, I think that is the result of them dying. Um, 
some you will see like the arms the polyp sort of arms on them uh, tentacles that sting whatever it is they there you go look puff that's cool um yeah some you will see when uh literally like the arms and stuff just melt off of them some literally pop like that hopefully that's not a load of babies that are going to now start growing so i've not done this before so kind of just trying to go from some of the what i've seen previously um but the results are looking pretty good clove polyp hasn't completely retracted it's just the heads that have closed so that's looking good i think with a bit of flow there's a chance that they'll be okay hopefully anyway Okay, there we go. So, that is the first dose of Aptasia X. Um, I've got to be honest, from first initial reactions of just seeing what's happened with the clove and them literally popping, um, and pretty much every Aptasia I could see has disappeared in the time that I've managed to get my arm out of the tank and dry. I'm quite impressed so far. Um, soon find out when, in the next sort of week or two if I got a load more that decided to pop up because I didn't do it very good and they all killed all decided to uh spout babies out so we shall see but hopefully not. Um so there we go. That is the little update on the tank. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming back. Um I've got some more updates coming soon so little uh, inside sneak. So my next few videos I've got planned, I'm going to be doing finally my full breakdown on my tank, um, what it costs to get to where it is now, the equipment that I use. Um, I'm going to do little sort of breakdowns of each piece of equipment and what my thoughts are with it, how much it costs me and so on. Um, and then we are also going to be doing, um, hopefully in the near future, um, another edition video. So... Um, I've got some plans for some more corals, some more fish, um, another good clean scrub down and so on. Um, back glass is looking a lot better now. I do need to clean my equipment, my power heads, the intake of my filter and my heater are looking a little bit dirty still, covered in the hair algae, but the glass itself I've got all under control now and sand kind of lost its yellowiness, it's looking a lot better. Now I've just got to get my water chemistry balanced um, again, back to where it was, and go from there. Hopefully that's the Aptasia dealt with. But thanks for watching, thanks for coming back, and um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and just a quick mention at the end as well, I have noticed on my analytics that a lot of the people viewing my videos now are from America, so it's quite cool that people from so far away find it interesting, so thank you for that. I appreciate absolutely everybody that um, watches my content and shares and likes and comments and so on. Um, hope to keep building the channel. I'm sure anyone that's tried it knows it is quite difficult to get anyone interested and um, to find the time to be able to upload consistently, especially in a hobby that's so expensive. But um, I'm doing my best. I will continue to keep pushing on, keep making videos for everybody. Um, if there's anything, any sort of treatments, fish, any kind of things that people would like me to document or anything, any videos that people would like to see, then comment below and let me know what you want to see. Any ideas on fish that you think would be good for the tank. Um, but yeah, appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you very much and see you in the next one.